Well, an early morning water main break is disrupting nearly the entire city of Madisonville. The break happened near the Clark Restaurant Supply Manufacturing Building and has impacted the main transmission line. Now, that's a 16-inch line which serves most of the city. Right now, crews are installing a new section of pipe at the break site. Workers will then flush the pipes and take water samples for the state to test. From there, crews will flush the entire system. Now, there's been a boil advisory put into place. Madisonville Water Superintendent Dennis Howe says this is the first time a system-wide boil advisory has had to be issued. Schools dismissed at 8.30 this morning because of the break. And Baptist Health Hospital is also impacted. They put a 96-hour contingency plan in place. All elective surgeries are being held off to keep instruments clean for emergency surgeries. And Eyewitness News, my ticket has been in Madisonville all day following how this is impacting the community there. Mike? Yeah, Shelly, a Madisonville city workers have cleared her out of this area where the water main break happened earlier today. Now, as you can see behind me, they filled up that area over there with the dirt after a new pipe section was put in. But the impact this water main break lingered all day. Uh, people went to stores, including Sherway and Madisonville, to buy as much bottled water as they could. Managers say they ordered several extra pallets to meet the demand. And one bakery owner in Madisonville says she had to boil water before using it to wash dishes. To make our coffee, we used our Keurig <laughs> coffee maker, and we used bottled water. I just have a few dishes at the end of the day and just throughout the day, so I like to be precautious and boil, boil everything. The Hopkins County School is dismissed around 8.30 this morning because of the boil advisory. School officials tell us they're monitoring the situation to determine if classes will resume tomorrow. Now, we will have more on how everybody in Madisonville and parts of Hopkins County were affected by this water main break later on Eyewitness News at 5. Live in Madisonville, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.